we're making brandy slushes. Sl slush. Yes. And this is basically a recipe our mother always would make every July and crack it open every October till Christmas. So, crack it open. she'll crack it open and start drinking it in October because she liked the house. Okay, mom is not a drinker, <laughs> so it's like... Well, I know one time she's all excited because okay. she had it open. <laughs> it's a very simple recipe to make. Okay, we have here seven cups of water, right? Boiling water. Boiling water. And seven tea bags. Green tea, yeah. Green tea bags, yes, very specific. And I'm going to let it steep for... Use about, I'd say, eight to ten minutes, but then it's got to cool a bit before we yes, add the other ingredients. Right. Which are 12 ounces of frozen lemonade and 12 ounces of the frozen orange juice. These are standard frozen concentrate right. containers. Right. Are these jars or bottles? What do you call them? Just anyway. a can. 12 yeah. ounce can. Yeah. And a pint of apricot brandy. Apricot brandy. A pint. A pint, okay. which is two cups. So now we have to let this steep for a few minutes. Yes. And then let it cool down before we do this. And of course, we're going to also add a cup of, of sugar, sugar as well. after we remove mm -hmm. the, the tea, tea bags. bags. Okay. Hand well, you, basically, well, you just, and you let it steep. Well, this is steep. This is steep for like about ten minutes. Yeah. Already, which is fine. Yeah. Here, you take one. I can't get it apart. Here we go. Let's grab one. There we go. And then. And I just wrap it around, just do this, squeeze it and just squeeze it, and that'll be good. There go. But let it steep for about 10 minutes, and then you take it out, and usually just, I like over room temperature just because it's easier to handle, but this is a good alternative. Let's now, get next, this mess. Yeah, just get rid of this mess. Now, now, the next thing that we want to do is put in the cup, I'm putting the cup as you stir, of sugar okay. in, into this. Because it'll dissolve quickly yes. in the. Uh, Hot or warm tea. So green, this, again, this is seven bags of green seven tea. Seven bags of green tea. Seven cups, cups of, of boiling water. water. They steep for about ten minutes. Take them out. Uh, squeeze the tea bags. We squeeze the tea bags, mm -hmm. and then we put in a cup of sugar. Now is that? You know what else we're doing? Now we're taking twelve ounces of lemonade concentrate. I'm gonna pour it in. Okay. Ooh, spot, I see. Okay. There That's you good. go. That's fine. Oh, okay. So let's stir that around. And then the next thing we're going to put in is the 12 ounces of orange juice concentrate. Mm hmm. Look at this opened. I think you had that open already. Nope. This one I didn't. Okay. Okay, now so don't. Put oh, that's good. Okay, here. Put it against the spoon so it won't yeah. splash. There we go. Oh, no, stir. that's still pretty solid, so I have to stir, stir a bit. Stir that for a little bit till it gets so dissolved. So we've got then. One can of lemonade concentrate and, and one, one can of orange, orange juice concentrate. About 12 ounces each. That's a standard can. Standard. Thing. Well, okay. I'll make sure people understand. Well, we got, wait, don't put that in there. I'm not going to, I'm just grabbing it. That's all I'm doing. I'm still trying to dissolve this uh, or melt down this chunk of. Oh, that's a hunk of chunk of burning love. That's a big chunk. Okay. Okay. okay, it looks like it's all it dissolved. It looks like it's dissolved. So now you're pouring next, a pint of apricot brandy. brandy or two cups. So, isn't it the same thing? It's the same thing. In case people don't know the difference, oh. I'm giving them the clarification. Okay, so now here we are. Okay, so now what we need to it's do when that is all done, all stirred, and it's cooled off, it's still a little warm, but it's fine because it's going to go in the freezer. It'll go in the freezer, and then tomorrow oh, we can pull out and take a look at it. Okay, now we're going to see the outcome of our brandy slush Whoa. after it's been in the freezer for 24, 48 hours. And it looks perfect. It's slushy. It's slushy. That's what you want. And so what we need to do is just scrape it for the slush. This, oops. oops, sorry. Put some in. I'm making this for, you want this, Brian? Just let me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little morning cocktail. Okay. This is. I can get this out. Okay. What are you looking for? See what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's strong enough. And then put some. Oh, there's a short glass, huh? I got the short glass. I mean, a short amount. You can put that in here. Okay, now pour in. Okay, then you add. You have about one third soda to two-thirds slush, so we don't fill this up with soda. You could if you really want to. And then, actually we talked about 
last night, wasn't it? Uh -huh. oh, they add sherbet to it. Sherbet. I think that'd be a good choice too. Like a Make float. sherbet float in this would be really yeah. good. Probably like a yeah. lemon lime type of sherbet. Yeah. Okay, or this and here it is. And I'll pass it off to the person behind the scenes and he can give the critique. <laughs> Although he has had, had this before. We've had some. Earlier. Not this morning. How is it? Mmm. Boozy. <laughs> okay. It's really not that strong. <laughs> but you can make it as strong as you want, but that's a cooking. That's a home of cooking. That's a home of drinking. That's a home of drinking, yeah, really. Yeah.